Hi, this video is going to cover the area of composite figures. So hopefully by the end of the video, you'll be able to describe what a composite figure is, and then also be able to effectively calculate the area of composite figures. So a composite figure is a figure that's made up of two or more shapes. And to figure out the area, what we're going to do is we're going to find the area of each piece or each uh, shape in the figure, and then we're going to add them together. So for a figure like this, we could actually split this up into two rectangles. So we're going to find the area of each rectangle, and then we're going to add them up. So we're going to add the, or calculate the area of the first uh, rectangle on the top. And to do that, we use area is equal to length times width. The length and the width are 20 and 8. So we're going to replace the L with 20 and the width with 8, like this. So that means they're going to multiply. So 20 times 8 is 160. And this is 160 meters squared. Now, to find the area of the second rectangle, we're going to do the same thing. So the area is equal to length times width. Now, the width is 6, but we don't know the length yet. Well, from the top here to the bottom is 22 meters. Now, just this piece here is 8 meters. So to find this unknown length, we can use a little subtraction. So 22 take away 8 is 14 meters. So the length, we'll say, is 14. And the width is 6. So 14 times 6 is 84 meters squared. So to find the total area of this figure, what we're going to do is we're just going to add the two areas together. So the total area is 160 plus 84, which will give us 224 meters squared. So that's going to be the general strategy as we move along here. We're going to find the area of each piece, and then we're going to um, add them together. So to find the total area of this composite figure, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to find the area of the trapezoid on the bottom, and then the area of the semicircle on the top. So let's start with the trapezoid. So the area of the trapezoid, we can use the formula a plus b in brackets times the height and then divide by 2. Now a and b in this formula is just the top length and the bottom length of the trapezoid. So we're going to replace the letter a with 10 and then we're going to write plus uh, b which is 16 and then we're going to replace the letter h with the height which is 4 meters and then divide by 2. Okay, now the formula tells me I got to add 10 and 16 together first before I do anything else because it's in brackets. So 10 plus 16 is 26 times 4 divided by 2. So 26 times 4 then divided by 2 should be 52 meters squared. Ah, it's a little sloppy. All right. Now let's find the area of the uh, semicircle. Now the semicircle, uh, we know the area of a full circle, right? Which is um, pi r squared. But because this is a semicircle, a semicircle is half of a circle. So we can actually just divide our area formula by 2. And that will give us the area of the semicircle. So pi, now for r, r is the radius of a circle which is from the middle to the edge now this diagram gives me the diameter which is from uh, one edge to the other through the middle so to find out the radius from the diameter what I need to do is you need to divide that by 2 which is 5 so the radius is actually 5 meters and not 10 as it may look in the diagram so we replace the letter R with 5. Now we're going to go and we're going to use our calculator. Let's move it over. And there we go. So we're going to do pi times. Now 5 squared means 5 times 5. So we're going to do 5 times 5. And then divide by 2. So that will give us 39.27 okay, 
meters squared. All right. So to, again, to find the total area, we're going to just add the area of each piece. So that's 52 plus 39.27. So together, that'll be 91.27 meters squared. Okay. So again, the general idea is to find the area of each piece and then add them up. So we're going to do the same thing here. Um, this composite figure, oh, so how much space is inside this composite figure? So it actually doesn't use the word area, but space inside of any shape, we're talking about the area. Okay, So it's asking you to find the area without actually using the word area. Uh, we've got a rectangle and a triangle. Now the problem here is um, the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2, but I don't know the height. I can figure out the base here. Uh, if from here to here is 28, but the length of the rectangle is 20, then that means this piece has to be 28 minus 20, which is 8 centimeters. Okay? So I know that the base here is 8 centimeters, but I don't know what the height is. Now, in order to figure that out, if this is 8, and I know the hypotenuse is 10, I can use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out the height of the triangle. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. To find the height of the triangle, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem uh, to find one of the legs of the triangle. So that's c squared minus b squared equals a squared. Um, so c is that side, 10. We'll say b is the side with 8, and then um, a is the missing side. So instead of writing c, I'm going to write 10. So that's 10 squared minus 8 squared is equal to the height squared. Now, 10 squared is 10 times 10, so that's 100. 8 squared is 8 times 8, so that's 64. And that's equal to h squared. Now, to subtract the 2, that's 36 is equal to h squared. Now, to find the height, okay, h from h squared, what you actually need to do is you need to take the square root. So the square root, I can do that on your calculator, so 36 take the square root and that's 6. Okay. So I know now I know that the height is 6 centimeters. Now we can go ahead now and calculate the area of each um, shape. So the area of the triangle is base times height divided by 2. So now I know what the base and the height are. The base is uh, 8 and the height is 6. Okay. So I'm going to write 8 times 6 divided by 2. And just to do that quickly, that's 24 centimeters squared. All right, so we got the triangle. Let's finish it off with the rectangle. So the rectangle, the area is equal to length times width. So the length is, let's say, 20, and then the width is 6. So we're going to do 20 times 6. So the area is 120 centimeters squared. Now again, if you have the two pieces, all we need to do is add them up. So the total area is 120 plus 24, and that'll give me 144 centimeters squared. Okay. This question involved an extra step of using the Pythagorean theorem to uh, find the missing um, height of the triangle, which is also the width of the rectangle. All right, now another type of composite figure involves one shape sort of inside another um, shape, and um, it creates sort of a, a hole or a gap. So if I wanted to figure out what's the area of just the shaded part, what we're going to do is we're going to find the area of the rectangle and then we're going to subtract the area of the circle. Okay? So this one involves some subtraction of areas. Okay? So we're going to subtract the areas. So let's go ahead and find the area of each piece. We'll start with the rectangle. Okay? So again, the area of the rectangle is going to be length times width. 
So that's 20 times 6 again. So that's 120 centimeters squared. All right, the circle now, we're going to use the area is equal to pi r squared. And it's a full circle, so we don't need to divide by 2. Pi. Now the radius, again, it's from the middle of the circle to the edge. So um, if the diameter is 6, the radius, okay, the radius here is 6 divided by 2, which is 3 centimeters. Okay, a little bit of extra work. So the radius is 3. All right, let's go to our calculator. We're going to go pi times 3 times 3 again. That's 28.27 centimeters squared. Now, instead of adding them, because the circle is basically cutting out of this uh, area of the rectangle, we're going to subtract to find the shaded area. So the shaded area is equal to 120 minus 28.27. So we'll just do that quickly. 120 minus 28.27. That's 91.73 uh, centimeters squared. Okay, so a question like this is different in that you gotta have to do some subtraction instead of adding. All right, so in order to get success, okay, in finding the area of a composite figure, these are the things that you really need to think of. Okay, divide the figure into shapes, the shapes that you can name, okay? And if you have a formula sheet, okay, you need to divide it into shapes that you know the area formulas for. Identify the shapes that make up the figure, calculate the area of each shape, and then depending on the figure, you're gonna add or subtract the areas. Okay, that's the general strategy of finding um, area of composite figures. All right, so I'd like you to try um, one of two questions. So there's this question here, um, or there's uh, a second question there. So what I'd like you to do is to pause the video um, and uh, go to the screen where you have one of the two questions, give it a shot, and, and then um, press play to see how you did. Okay, good luck. All right, so... For this question, we're going to need to, in order to find the area of the deck, is to find the area of the big rectangle and then subtract the area of the smaller rectangle. So let's find the area of the really big one. So that's length times width. Um, that's 8 and 6 is the length and width of the big rectangle. So that's 48 meters squared. All right. Now we need to subtract the area of the smaller rectangle. So that smaller rectangle, we're also going to use length times width. And that's 3 times 2. So that's 6 meters squared. So the deck is going to be um, 48, take away 6. So that's 42 meters squared. So the answer to this one would be B. All right, for the second question, um, this is made up of a rectangle and a semicircle. So let's go ahead and find the rectangle first. I'm just going to draw the shape. All right. The area is length times width. So that's 30 times 10. So that's 300 uh, centimeters squared for the rectangle. And then now we're going to have to find the area of the semicircle. So for the semicircle, remember the area is equal to pi r squared divided by 2. So pi, the radius is given to us as 15 squared, and then we need to divide by 2. So we're going to do that very quickly on our calculator. So pi times 15, it's squared, so that means I'm going to times 15 again, and then divide by 2. So that's 353.4 uh, centimeters squared. So to find the total area, 
we're going to do 300, so that's the area of the rectangle, plus the area of the semicircle. So that'll give me 653.4. So it would be the closest one is B. All right, so hopefully this video has cleared up how to find the area of composite figures. Uh, best of luck.